Welcome back everyone, uh, Pete and Bruce here again. Uh, I thought we'd talk about a few other things. We've been um, working hard, making some parts and bits and bobs. CZ Shadow. We all love the CZ, CZ Shadow. CZ Shadow, we'll talk about that later though. Because we will. What more can you do? There's not a lot more can be said. No, <laughs> well, no, 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 what was our whole thing? If Billy the Kid was alive today. Oh, that's right, yes. He'd Billy be the Kid, around, he'd be wandering he'd around with a CZ Shadow. And one of ours because we'd give it to him for free. We would, yeah. Mm. Sponsorship deal. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> go for go for yeah. town. Go yeah, for this town. Bank, this bank proudly robbed the boy. Yeah, Alpha Tactical. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we've been busy. We've got a few products. I was, we we're mucking around with the um, Ruger Charger 22. Uh, what have we done with it, Dan? Oh yeah, we've um, got a pick pick rail on the front. Uh, the drop and the drop-in adapter. We oh, were going to make a chassis. Um, it is like everything's clear and unloaded in. I don't know how this thing works. Yeah, it's got a lot of definitely clear. Yeah, but um, we were going to make a chassis, but there's so many out there, and there's so many really good ones like Archangel here. I've got some really good ones, so don't really want to do that. But we just thought, because there's nothing wrong with this one, is it? It's really light, and um. Yeah, you know? I really like. Yeah, it just it's needs, light. It's just needed something on the back. Yeah, just to, needed. Um, except a except a, a brace or a stock oh, or yeah. something along those lines, depending on the jurisdiction you're in. Whichever. Well, see, in Australia we can have a stock, but US, woohoo! We finally, finally nailed our stock, our brace. And brace. Our brace. So, so um, yeah, we we were out testing it today and it works great. So. It's gonna. We're gonna put it on the website on the market. So, yep. a few things we tr we wanted to do. Have you got the, that other one that we can show the the comp what we're doing? Sorry, oh, I'm talking to Dan. No, no, no the um. Oh, hello. Oops. Yep, Billy's gone. So Benny what Hill's we, on set. So what we wanted to try do. Everyone knows how much of a pain in the ass it is getting your stock or your brace off your buffer tube. With ours. Pull it down and it stays there. There's a two stage it's thing a, in there. It's a two stage feel. You feel the first stage, which. Uh, we'll move it back and forth. Move it backwards and forwards. This is just a painted uh, little bit of a prototype, so it's a little yep, bit tight. That's one. Dan, the producer. It's Dan, coming it's in up. from stage right. Yeah, stage right. Well, it's like with these, such a pain in the butt, because you've got to. I don't know if you get in there, Dan. You know, like you've got to pull it down to get it on and off. So it goes on, or it doesn't. Oh. But you've got to move that little pin, pull that pin down with a screwdriver or whatever you want to do to lock it on. And it's just such a ball up. And we just didn't want to do that. We wanted to just be able to quickly take it off that one and throw it on that one. Simple as that, as quick as that. So. As quick as. Yeah, let yeah. me just move this one out of the way. Yeah, move that one out of the way. And there is, uh, it isn't just a single stage, there is a feel, you reach this point here, yep. and there is a definite positive uh, bit of resistance, a bit of a wall, uh, and that allows you, again, this one's a little bit tight, allows you to slide it, but then all the way down for uh, taking it off. Yeah, and you've got that full range. Got the full range, also I, I will take this off and just talk about, talk it. about it a little bit more. One thing that was key when, when drawing this thing up was uh, making sure that we didn't have uh, a lot of stuff hanging down no. here. Like this legitimately is is a brace. Again, a bit of a prototype, don't have the uh, Velcro on it at the moment. Uh, but we're looking to have multiple sizes of these, these wings. Uh, did have a bit of a shoot of it today. Um, it is, well, if it had Velcro, it would have been very secure. Yes, um, but someone didn't believe me that we need one inch Velcro. Someone wanted a narrower bottom that only allows five eighths. Yes, Velcro. but someone didn't understand that Velcro, one inch Velcro. Comments. One Comments. inch Velcro. Who wants one inch Velcro? And who wants? Who wants something a bit narrower so it doesn't look like you? And how are we going to get this narrower Velcro? And should we just um, con contact the Velcro people? Why hey, not? hey, China. Yeah, maybe they'll sponsor the channel. Yeah, you industrious little <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Stop invading people and yeah. make us some Velcro. Yeah. But what we're looking at doing here is multiple sizes of the uh, arms in the back. If you compare yep. these two, 
Uh, it was a little bit of a fiddle at first, uh, determining which sizes should try out. This was what I assumed would be the regular, uh, but it's tiny, unless you've got a baby arm. Um, oh, a arm? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You yeah. know? And like, you know... Not being sexist. Is, no. And in reality, <laughs> like, these, these braces were... Uh, originally um, developed it's... for veterans, correct? Yep, that yeah. Is, and amputees. Um, yep. You know, you may have lost your left arm and your right arm might not be 100%, you know, as so strong as it used to be. So we wanted to make sure that it actually does do what it says on the tin. That it, you, if you want to use it as a brace, go for it. You can. Like, that's the point of that it. That is the point of it. There's none of this pinching, squeezing. No. Uh, it Cause... actually fits. And, and we will have multiple sizes of these. And, this is, and it looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the look of it. We've kept the back open because we've got some other stuff coming later on in the year that will, needs that open. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's awesome. But um, th that's the thing too because you got to remember in Australia we don't we can run our pistol with that with a break with a stop. As long as we keep under the length. Yes. We yeah. In Queensland it's seven hundred and fifty mil. Yeah. We don't have here. I suppose it's one thing. <laughs> Probably the only difference between Australian and with. US. Have you uh, noticed Dan's got like a director chair? He does, doesn't he? We yeah. need to get him one. Yeah, we need to get him one with his name on the back. <laughs> and we've got crappy stools. <laughs> stools here. I'm going to have. You know, I'm going to need five pills to, you know, ease the kink out of my back. Yeah, exactly. This. But uh, yeah, so it was very important for us to make sure that this was. Uh, Legitimate, a legitimate brace. functional brace that would suit the sort of people that actually need well, that, a because brace. Because we won't, we'll sell probably none of these in Australia. Absolutely. Zero. Yeah. Absolutely zero. Because we don't need them. Don't need them. But in the States, we, which hopefully yeah. September we should be back, shouldn't we? Well, look, having said that, like, you know, we, we do have veterans here, but the, the pool is, is tiny. Yeah. But well, okay, so tiny. say we might Ampu amputees. You might sell, like, but we're going to turn that the same locking mechanism, yes. you know, into a stock as well because it just works so well without having to muscle it and mess around. Yeah. Like, I, I still can't get that to lock in no, it's, unless you put it, your finger in there. And it hold is a it. proper ball ache to get yeah. that thing oh. down. We somehow got it on at the range. I don't know. Yeah. Faffing around with it at the range. Screwdriver or something in there. Oh, I can't yeah. be bothered. It's way too. It's just too hard. Yeah. But this this will fit your AR. Any, any AR buffer any tube. Any mil spec. So we're doing the mil spec, won't we? Yeah, so any course. mil spec buffer tube. It'll just slot right on. Um, we'll have. So we, we'll put it up. It'll be. Well, we're hoping some vendors will take it on next week. So we'll have it on the. It's on the website. If you want to go on, it's um. What's the website, Dan? Uh, www dot or just go look up Alpha Tactical A L F A with, with an F, F. with yes. an F with an F A L F A. Someone was drinking Tactical Systems. <laughs> <laughs> now it stands for Australian Liberty Firearms Association. Yes, yes. Which was a good recovery. Which a good yes, of course. So yeah, yeah but um, we're pretty proud of it. Um, Bruce he's worked pretty hard to get it, you know, to this point. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, again, the key the key design criteria were AR buffer tube, low profile, um, locking and a prop, mechanism. And but pinned, are like hinged. A proper hinged. Hinged with, and we can do different sizes of the arms. Yes. So if you've got, I don't know, if you're a bodybuilder and you've got massive arms, yep. let us know. We can, you know, yes, if definitely. you look at the different size. Yeah, and I probably got this wrong as I was just mentioning a little bit earlier. This was what I assumed would be the extra large, and that would be the regular, but turns out that that is probably more a medium than, anyway, so this is this is obviously quite a bit small. And uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing to say that uh, we can't have more than three sizes available. Yeah, we can. Or, you know, we're happy to work with potentially, you know, veterans groups or individuals that uh, you know, have a specific need. Yeah, let it's us not know. difficult the way we do things. So, we, but we, know. but everything we make here, we don't outsource anything in our company. And I, I want to make a mention to a couple of our um, customers with their patience. I want to say thank you because there's only what five of us that really do anything. Four, four, five of us. So we got a guy in Texas working our manufacturing facility there. Brad's doing a good job there. And there's what three or four of us here in Australia. So we're not a massive, we don't have huge 
pools of machines and people. So when people place orders, we get on it straight away. Um, when but we customs, don't. We, when yeah. customs are yes. pulling our chain a bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's like this. We make every little bit of this. The pins, the you know everything. We turn it in a lathe and we make all our metal bits. So there's nothing outsourced. We don't send all well, the Velcro, will we? Velcro, will yeah, we? Yeah, Velcro. We're not doing Velcro. But it's we're proud of it that we're we're doing everything, you know, by ourselves because we can control our. Um, well, we can control everything. Yeah. Basically. Well, yeah. You know, and uh, you know, if we want to do something slightly different next week, we're not um, sitting down with um, you know having a meeting with new with vendors or you know. Well, because tender, we do... tendering our new idea out to three or four different people. Yeah, exactly. We'll send Just some out next week to some shops and some places. We'll get some. We'll start making them over in in the states in Texas, and um, whatever. And then people can let us know what they think of it, and if they want changes, it's pretty easy. But I don't. No one's going to want to change the, this latch mechanism. It is brilliant. Right, you can see how it works. We're getting a bit close up. The like it's so tactile. You know what I mean? You yeah, just yeah. You can't lock it out. That's pull. that's open now. So I think yep. So you can. I don't know if I can get in there. But you can slide that and yeah, it just shuts and it's so good. There's no you don't no tools needed. There's no all the pins are stainless, so they're not going to go anywhere. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. That's a Bruce has done a good job because everyone loved the cheek well on our Bruce model. If you don't know what the Bruce model is, we'll have to get Dan to flash it up. Yep. Somewhere, Somewhere here, here there'll be it. He'll do a flash up of the Bruce. Of the Bruce. And um, so everyone wanted the Bruce brace up for their ARs and AKs so we went all right why not well why not? yeah why not we can do that yeah, so, let the headache commence yeah exactly <laughs> but we're here and it's we've done it yeah it's fun now. yes and we've done it you know what four months five months it hasn't taken that long well, it hasn't taken it, it's probably been that long but it didn't take that long but we because we didn't want to copy anyone like the main like the main guidelines of when I we I talk with Bruce because Bruce is our main designer here, and Dan's the um, apprentice <laughs> when he's not in his director's chair. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't I don't want to copy anyone. I don't want to do the same latch system that you know your other guys. <laughs> All right, we're back after a uh, battery charge. Yeah, we only got one. We're pretty poor. We only got one battery. Yeah, and I was I was feeling a little bit sympathetic for Dan. Have you seen that movie True Lies? Yes. You know where the t the dude is filming the terrorist and he's in the middle of his rant and the battery lights going yes. off and he's like <laughs> he's sweating bullets. Crimson Jihad will rain fire on one major American city each week. But Aziz, get another one, you moron! I think I have one in the truck. Poor Dan here before was like, you know, battery, battery, off. Oh. Yeah, yeah, balls to yeah. it. Anyway, what right, we? where were we? I don't know. We're, we're talking about the brace. We're talking about the brace. The brace is cool. Yeah, we love it. Um, um, it's going on sale. We'll have it on sale next week. This week. Oh, it's Thursday in America. No, we're just doing it. We're making, we're going to change that to one inch, so you'll have a one inch strap. There'll be a little bit of a tweak, and then we've got to do some test. Um, ah, well, he's got to start, he's got to do a couple of test parts in Texas. Well, but yeah. yeah. It shouldn't, like, it's imminent. It's very imminent. In the so, next week or so, you, you'll be able to order it. Yeah. So, because we'll, we're going to send some to some of our shops that have been really good to us. Um, Damage Factory Colorado, we're going to send them a sample. Texas, um, Ex gun, uh, Texas gun experience. What's the yeah. Texas Rangers gun experience thing? Um, Texas Gritter, Legends. Texas Legends. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mission Ridge. Mission Ridge. Yep. Uh, good at say hello to James. There, James Crowder. Did you know I'm a big Stephen Crowder fan? Yeah. <laughs> but he's not related. Not related. Not related at all. So, but um, anyway, so the next thing, yeah. So that's uh, that's the brace. Uh, the 1022 thing. So the 1022 is going to be sold as a kit. So we're going to do, oh, so it's just going to come with the buffer tube drop-in and a, what is it, a pick rail on the top. So just, a, and, a, and we'll sell it 
you know, we're going to be really competitive and, and sell it as a quick, cheap kit. So, you know, if you don't want to go out and buy a chassis, um, you guys shot it today and they, they seem to love it. So it was good. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Like, because in Australia, that break is noisy. That was louder than was it? bloody nine. Well, we, yeah. and I have to say a big mm. thank you to Lee. This is not our gun. We borrowed it off of a friend of ours, Lee. So um, you can complain about his complain break to him, yeah. Break. Yeah, but um, yeah, it worked great. So, and I like this gent little stock. It's just a nice, neat little thing, especially with the buffer tube. And you know, you can in America throw our brace on there. So she's um good to go. No tax really? stamp, no nothing. No tax stamp, nothing, right? Yeah, just go. Everyone's got a 1022, so yeah. All good. Go for it. Um, and the next thing we're talking about, because all right, back to the CZ. <laughs> back to the shadow, yep. Love this gun. Like, it's always my go-to gun. But everyone's been comparing the CZ with the Wolfer. Now, this is my wife's author, so um, it's clear. Um, obviously she wanted the tra the barrel the same color as the trigger so we cerakoted that for her but um it's a really good gun like we're going to do a comparison I haven't really shot it that much probably shot it once because you know I have to ask permission <laughs> but um yeah I, I don't know we're gonna see because this it, I don't know America but this is the wealth is more expensive than the shadow yeah, and I I don't understand that. No, honest. but I prefer, I like the hammer. I'm a hammer fire. I, 1911 is my favourite thing. So yeah, look, I was when I when I first picked up the uh, Walther. You probably thought, shot that more than me. I thought it this feels awesome. I can't wait to give this a you know a blast on the range. I was a little bit meh about the CZ. Um, I don't know why, but I love that thing. I, I would yep. pick that thing over this all day every day but I, I tell, well the thing about this is optic ready you can take the plate off Optics put an optic ready, on yeah. it where i think the new model of the cz is well would your biggest complaint about the cz you want a decocker it would and a decocker would be nice i know it doesn't matter so much on the range but um you know why not come on it's an expensive but, gun why doesn't it have a decocker what does the um the do you know that orange one do you know the new orange one the, yeah does that have a decocker uh, maybe i think um there's like beretta m9s the new ones have yeah. like a decocker safety yeah see i'm not that fast yeah. me i like i i like it like Oh, look, that's the that's the i like the, i wanted the single action but you're not going to carry it because it weighs a ton no, and you can't carry you can't carry it here anyway. And if in over in Texas, why would you? It's a it's an it, expensive it's, carry gun. It's not fair. really a carry gun. No. People would disagree because it's well, pretty if you're much, Billy the Kid or Jesse James, yeah, you've but, got a holster. True, but look, its heritage is the CZ seventy five, correct? Well, which is definitely again. A carry we'll gun. see. Speak talking about CZ carry guns. Now I love the Rammy CZ Rammy. Like it's a, it, and they don't make it. I don't know why they stopped making it. Like comment, like I love it. I I want one, but trying to find when they made. I think they made them in like limited production when they were in production. So trying to find one was almost you had to be like Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot, yeah. And now I don't. I think they've stopped production of it. I was watching. I watch um, a guy which I everyone should go watch and support his channel. Um, the firearms guy TFG, he did one video this week about the CZ guns that they stopped doing. And he was talking about the Rami and the 45, the CZ, the 45 caliber. They've stopped that, which I don't know, like because I don't know why, because they're so popular. The if I was CZ, I'd be just churning them out. Why not? Bit of me. Oh look, you <laughs> know. To that, you know, but then, you know, to a big company like CZ, it's uh, probably a rounding error, the amount of those things they sell. But yeah, if you're a, if you're a devotee of a particular thing in general, because you know, do you know the Rami? Have you seen it? I don't think I no. It's, it's, yeah, look, if I saw it, I'll probably I think it's thought. polymer. I've never I've never held one yeah. or seen one in the flesh, because every time I've tried to get it. It's just it. It's gone. Like it was gone. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, and um, but it's like a short version, three point mm. five inch barrel version of this. Yeah. Really, like you would love it. I would, you apart from your giant man hands, there, like 
Maybe. But they're not that big. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so what we're, we're thinking of doing is doing like a, like a, the problem is, I'm really biased to the shadow. My wife's really biased to the Walther. We need someone that's either or, that's not. Yeah, look, I am happy to do a paper test paper target test on these you yeah but you you yeah, see you've already Dan where you that where you're lining up Dan come uh, on Walther hey well there we go yeah, there we go see we've tree. got a yeah then we can have Jackie Dan because you've admitted oh, that you said love on, it. Camera, on, ca I, I, on camera on oh, camera no but we're not talking about which one I like which one's best I'm quite yeah, but happy you're to You're going to be biased towards which one you like better. But the paper doesn't lie if you're doing a hey, test. I can make, I've made paper lie all my life. <laughs> We're going to do it. We're going to spread it out across a few different people. And yeah. We'll see what the results are. Exactly. So um, stay tuned. Thanks for listening to us ramble on and carry on. Um, from us guys at Alpha, stay tuned and thanks for supporting us. And please subscribe like because it just helps us here and you know keep doing what we're doing you know yeah it's fantastic so um bye from us guys dan bruce me thanks for tuning in toodaloo